Hello from Coleman and Company. I'm Stephanie and in today's video I want to show you a system that we have developed for our DTG printers out there. Now if you're a DTG printer owner and you work with pre-treatment, if you've ever had a gallon or a liter that's been sitting around for a little bit, you're probably used to seeing some, um, I would call it coagulation, perhaps some chunking on the bottom of your pre-treat. If it's a genuine DTG pre-treat, fear not. That does not compromise the quality of your pre-treatment, but it can be a little bit annoying when you're talking about pouring your pre-treat into things like your um, pre-treat spray gun or in like um, the Spider Mini, which is an automatic pre-treat system. Those clogs can wreak havoc on your machine, cause all kinds of headaches for you. Really annoying. But we have two solutions. Number one, one of the things we suggest to customers is when you're dousing out your pre-treat and pouring it in, don't irritate the sediment on the bottom if you haven't been keeping up with your daily maintenance. Pretty much every day when you have a pre-treat, if you give it a little shake, you'll never see the sediment down here on the bottom. But if you let it sit, we're talking 10 to 15 days, you'll notice a sediment that's down here that won't undo with a simple shake. In fact, all you'll do by shaking it is get it angry. Um, essentially, if you do end up with chunks in here, again, the quality of your pretreatment's not been compromised. However, understand that it's never going to re-dissolve into the solution. It's been designed to still function even with fallout, which is the sediment at the bottom. What you can do instead though, if you have angered it or you don't feel comfortable pouring in or you still have clogs when you do that, is to use our DTG pre-treat filter kit. Let me show you how it works and the best way for you to use it to give your pre-treat the longest life possible and so that way you don't have to worry about clogs in the near future. All right, this is the DTG pre-treat filter kit. It's really comprised of just three separate parts. There's the filter, and you can see the filter has some good uh, holes for the solution to go right through. Um, you'll have 20 of these in your kit. Then you have the holder that holds the filter and uh, conveniently goes around our pitcher. And here's the pitcher. It has some measurements here. Okay, um, so whether you're doing a gallon or you're doing a liter, it's very easy to deal with it, okay? So, all you're going to do is you're going to place it nicely like so. You'll take your questionable bottle of pre-treat or one that you've seen has collected sediment. Now, um, a little side note is here at Coleman & Company, we go through the pre-treatment way too quickly to have a bottle that's going to be sitting there... Um, settling. So instead what we're going to do, um, my product manager went ahead and put five drops of white ink in here. Now if you've ever dropped ink directly into pre-treat, you know it clotted immediately. So that's what I'm going to use as our demonstration so you can kind of see is the clots we created. The other cool part is that the rest of the pre-treatment that's in here is completely fine and usable. So I'm going to go ahead and filter it using our filtration system and then um, of course uh, pour it all back in here and um, send this over to our, our printers. So here we go. I'm going to uncap and then find which flow you like better. There we go. All right. And you can see um, there are different angles, so you want to be careful not to slosh it, but put it right into the little middle hole. It should go pretty straightforward. All right. A little frothy there from my shaking. All right. I don't see anything else in there. Give it a little shake. Now, while this is doing its little dripping, quick thing, you can actually reuse these filters like three to four times. Just flip it over underneath your sink or whatever wash basin you use to, to clean up with your DTG inks and um, push the water in reverse through there just to dislodge. Now my clumps are going to look again a little more coagulated but yours, um, if it's pre-treatment, should look a little bit like yogurt, like chunks of yogurt, okay? Again, your pre-treatment is completely fine. It is completely able to be used full strength and will work just as perfect as a brand new bottle that had separated but now all of this is solvent free so no more clogs in your spray gun no more clogs in your spider mini or your automatic pre-treat machine just great pre-treat for great prints all right so um, once you're done you've done with that and I'll show you the, the yuck that's in there you can just simply pour it right back into your bottle Alright, 
looks good. Now, let me show you what was actually in there. So now this pre-treat, completely filtered, good to go. We can put it back in our machine and not worry about it clogging anything. But let me show you what we found. On the bottom of this, I'll pop the little bubbles because there's some bubbles in there. Okay, you see those little white clots? Here, let me pull them out for you. See those white clots? This is what white ink does when it's inside pretreatment. When it touches pretreatment, it immediately does this. So this is what I used as my demonstration today. Again, yours won't look like this. Yours will look like, um, like clunky yogurt. Okay, so um, that is the DTG pre-treat filter kit. You just pour it on through, put it right in the pitcher, and then you're back to square one. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call at Coleman & Company. We're happy to help you. Have a great day.